Hello everyone, welcome back to Maxim Automation. Today in this video, I'm going to let you know how you can read and write XML files using Jenkins pipeline script. As you all understand, we have a lot of dependencies on different sets of files in terms of setting up the pipeline. And as part of that setup, most of the time, we need to read and update those files, including XML files. So today, let's see how we can work with XML files using pipeline script. First of all, I'm going to create a new job and I'm going to name that job as XML demo. I'm going to create this project as pipeline. So let me choose the pipeline option from here and then I'll click on OK. After that, I'll move to the pipeline and here in the pipeline, I'm going to choose the sample from here so that I can get the basic syntax available as part of the script. Now, what I'm going to do is, let's say I'm going to create a stage to update the XML file. So I'm going to name it as read and update XML file. This is my stage name and under these steps, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a script. So I'll be adding one script block. And under the script block, I'm going to write the script to read the XML file. Here, I have an XML file available with me, which is placed under C project. And this file contains the fast food menu details which is having the different food items with their price and calories information. So let's see how we can fetch the value of the different nodes and then we'll see how we can update the values of these nodes as well. For that, let's move to the Jenkins. First of all, I'm going to define the XML file and I'm gonna create a variable called XML file equal to new file and then I'll paste the file path here so this is the file which I'm going to read and after that I'm going to define the root node of the XML I'm going to pass the XML and then after passing the XML I'm going to assign that XML into the object let's say food value is the object and then to read the XML, I'm going to use the XML parser dot parse. And then I'm going to provide this XML file object into this parse method. Using this method, we'll be able to save the XML file content into the object food menu. First of all, I'm going to print this food menu object to see what this food menu is going to print into the console. Let me save it and then I'm going to build the project. Now let's move to the console. Here you can see that it printed the fast food menu. Fast food menus have the attributes and the multiple values. Here we have the first food item. Then we have the another food here and so on. This fast food menu is the root node that represents this node. So the object which we have created is representing this root node. Whatever the root node available in your XML file is representing the object which we have created. And using that object will traverse to the XML document. Now let's say that I want to print this second food item and its price. So for that, let's go to the script. And here, I'm going to use the food menu as the root node and then to access the child node. We have to provide the node name into the single code inside the brackets. This is the object and then using this object, I want to traverse to the food node. 
now because we have multiple food nodes available under the food menu so we have to provide the indexing for example the first object is at zeroth index and second food node is at first index now because i wanted to read the second food node value so i'll be using the index value as one and then i'm going to print the name and the price of the food to print the node value i'm going to use the text method here now let me save it and then i'll build the project now if i go to the console then you can see that it printed the chocolate shake and then the price of it so this is how we can read the node value from an xml file now the question is how can we update the node value in a xml file let's say the current price of chocolate shake is $3.95 and i want to update this value to $2.95 so let's move to the script here this is going to first print the old menu price and then i'm going to update the price value now one point to note down here is to update the value for a node we have to use the array object of that node and then we need to provide the index of the array i'll tell you why we are using indexes here because that's how the values are being stored into an xml object all the values of the nodes will be stored in the form of an array that's why we're using the array here now let's say i want the price to be updated to 2.95 this line of code is going to update the price and after this i am again going to print the price of the food now let me save it and then i'll build it again now if i move to the console we can see the chocolate shake price was initially 3.95 dollars and now the price is 2.95 dollars now if you want to see why we have provided the index at the time of updating the values so for that let's say so let's say if i print this food menu into the console and now if i go to the console then here let's say we're talking about the node food which is burger and you can see that the value for the node is stored using an array object as you can see these brackets when we are passing the xml file then values are saved in the form of an array because we have an object inside this array so we use the index 0 for this value this is how we can update the node values now the next thing is that we have updated the value but in our xml if i move to the xml file and if i refresh it still we can see the chocolate shake price is 3.95 dollars because the original file has not been updated now if i want to update this price into the xml file as well then here i'm going to create another object for latest food menu and then i'll paste this old food menu here this is going to serialize this old food menu and then it is going to copy the content to this latest food menu object and then using this object xml file i'm going to write my latest food menu into the xml so this line of code is going to update the file let me save it 
And now if I build it again, then we can see the build has success. Now to verify whether the changes have been applied or not, I'll move to the menu.xml file. You can see the price was initially $3.95. And if I refresh it, now you can see the price has been changed to $2.95. So this is how we can update our XML file using the Jenkins pipeline script. I hope you like this video. Please put your comments in the comment box. Also, please do not forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Thank you.